Hello friends this is Bhunesh Mutha from Easy Photo Edit and welcome to this exciting new tutorial where i'm going to show you how you can quickly select complex objects and change their color in this case we are going to change the 2000 indian rupee currency from the magenta and brown to blue and purple let's get started before we go any further let us take few seconds and analyze our image here we can see we have pattern line art different shades of magenta and we also have brown which is bleeding inside the text we need to take care of all these areas when we are changing our color to go ahead let us take a copy of a background layer and now let me go to image adjustments replace color let me click on that and with the eye dropper tool selected select the color which you wish to change in this case i want to change the color magenta so let me click on that and now you can see there's a fuzziness slider below this slider will add more magenta to its equation when we increase the slider So let me just increase that a bit and here you can see it has added different tones of magenta from all across our image. Let me add some more and here you can see there is so many tones which are been added. But to visually see those selected magentas I would just change my hue from magenta to an extreme color like green. So here I can visually see the selected magentas are turned green. So I want to add few more magentas to my equation. So let me just increase that over here. And now I can see few lighter tones of magenta are left out. To add them also, let me just go to my add sample tool and click on that. So now you can see all the magenta tones are being changed to green. The only color area which is left are these browns over here and over here in the text. So let us select that with the add to sample. Let me just click on these browns and that has also been taken up in the selection and let me just zoom in a bit to see if I have not missed any of the tones and here i can see let me just zoom in some more here i can see i have missed few brown shades so let me just click once to add them also and now let me zoom out completely and overall all the colors which i wanted are been selected so let us change back from this extreme green to the desired color which is the blue and purple to get that let me just move my hue to minus 100 and that looks perfect to me let me just click okay and this is how we can select complex object and change color so easily but this particular method is a destructive method because it is applied its effect on the image itself and we do not have any control over this once it is applied let me show you one more way of doing the same but this time in a non destructive way to do that let me just hide my layer and now with my background layer selected let me go to create new adjustment and hue saturation with hue saturation selected Let me just hide my navigator panel and now with the target adjustment tool selected let me just zoom in to my image and pan here with my target adjustment tool selected let me click on the hue which i wish to change but before i do that i want you to notice two areas one over here it says master 
and second over here so let me do that let me click on the hue which I want to change and as soon as I click you can see that the master is being changed to magentas so it automatically detects that I want to change the magenta hues and it also does a selection in the color wheel the areas next to the magenta tones that is the purple and a bit of red so when I change my hue in this case again to an extreme green you will be able to see the effect so over here you can see on the top it says that change all the magentas to the color below which is green in this case so now you can see all my magentas have turned to green but in this case I would also like to add my browns to the equation to do that go to the add to sample eyedropper and click on that and click on the brown color let me just zoom in and analyze if I have less, left any spots and here I can see if I click on the areas over here I have added those to my image and now it has changed its color all over my image and this is what I wanted so now once I have got my desired colors selected let me just move back my hue to minus 100 as we did earlier let me just type in manually minus 100 and again I have got my blue and purple as we did earlier so these are the two different ways of changing complex colors to the desired hues which we wanted one was a destructive way and this one was a non-destructive way it is up to you which you want to use in your workflow if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if you would like to learn any other topic so that it will help me create my next video Thank you so much.